Trump Organization and its chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, pleaded not guilty today to tax fraud charges uh, and grand larceny in Manhattan State Court. These charges were more than two years in the making. They followed an intensive investigation by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, uh, which subpoenaed the president's, former president's tax records um, and had investigated many aspects of his business before bringing this case. Trump himself was not charged in the indictments unsealed today, but the Manhattan District Attorney's Office has stressed uh, for weeks that the investigations are still ongoing, even as these charges have been made public. Um, it's a significant case on many fronts because a former president is being placed in the perilous position of having to defend criminal charges against his own company. There's also been rampant speculation that the chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, could face pressure to flip and provide information to prosecutors uh, that could be detrimental to the president. That's something that's been watched very closely and will continue to be watched. Mr. Vance, could we get a comment? Well, just good morning. See you at 2.15. Okay, but two years of investigation. So Weisselberg, who is known as an intensely private man and lived in a modest home on Long Island, uh, claimed to continue to claim residency there despite living in a company-paid Manhattan apartment, according to the prosecution. And by doing so, he concealed that he was a New York City resident and avoided paying more than $900,000 in federal, state, and city income taxes and collected about $133,000 in refunds to which he wasn't entitled, prosecutors said. Weisselberg himself could face jail time if convicted of these serious charges, but the Trump Organization itself would likely be forced to pay fines or fees and perhaps even change the way that it operates if convicted.